Hey, God bless you, everybody. I pray that everyone is doing beautiful, amazing, and well in Jesus' name. And may the grace and the love and the peace of Jesus Christ come nigh into your life. And may the anointing lift every burden. And may the anointing destroy every yoke and lift every burden that is trying to come upon and rest upon your soul, that is trying to bombard your thought process and your mind to try to get you out of truth, waiting for your miracle. So as I was spending time with the Lord this morning, a word kept literally just rising in my heart, and it was this, breaking point. I heard the word breaking point, and this word could be for many people many of us because we all find ourselves at times when we are at the breaking point we at times sometimes as if the lord allows you to come to the very end of yourself and then all of a sudden the miracle comes the lord allows you to get to the edge and then all of a sudden help comes the bible says that he is our very present help in the times of trouble. And the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Isn't it interesting how it says many are the afflictions of the righteous? But the Lord delivers us out of them all. So as I was thinking about this word that was hitting my heart, I thought about the hearts of all of you all myself included because you know like I know that as we grow and go from glory to glory and faith to faith life sometimes can hit you situations can arise things may not go as planned all of a sudden you get sidetracked disappointment happens a failure or a setback or something that you're believing God for hasn't come yet you're waiting for that door to open. You're waiting for that miracle to happen. I want to encourage you today, brothers and sisters, that you might even be standing in, in the midst of your breaking point moment right now as I speak. But you know like I know that there's times when the Lord, He may not come when we want Him. And why He does this, I don't know. That is one of the mysteries of the Lord that still sometimes challenges me because you know, like I know, when we want God to move, when we need him to, to move, when we wish that he would move in, in our time and it don't happen always as such, but sometimes there is that miracle moment when your faith is released and that miracle does happen and that miracle does come. So never remove yourself from faith because anything is possible in the realm of faith and anything can truly happen as long as we keep our focus in and upon Jesus. So when I was thinking about this word that was rising in my heart, I was thinking about Lazarus. He was Jesus' friend. He loved Lazarus. He loved Mary. He loved Martha. Martha was dear to him. I'm sorry, Mary was dear to him. Martha was too. But Lazarus was his friend. So much so that the Bible says, and it was recorded, Jesus wept. And what is interesting is he waited four days to come. <laughs> oh. And the Lord is not doing these things and holding back from you and delaying on you and being mean on you and letting the devil rob and, and hold him back as if like he's got him pinned against the wall to, to bring to you your miracle. The devil is alive. When God says it's time, God is going to come through. When God says, get out the way, devil, I'm going to touch my daughter. I'm going to move upon my son and the miracle shall it will come nigh in Jesus mighty name. So you continue to keep your heart 
and your mind and your eyes fixed upon him. I know at times when that wind and that wave and, and our boat is being battered, at times our soul can get a little rocky. All of us. There's times when you're looking at a situation or you're going through something and you don't you don't know when daylight is going to come. There's times when when it's as if you're in the midnight hour and you don't have enough strength to praise and to dance and to shout. Sometimes you need people that 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 can come around you that will be just like those that held up the arms of Moses just so that the just so that the battle doesn't overtake us so that we can continue to win. You need people in your life. We need people in our lives that will be as such that when our arms get tired, then when, when we don't want to praise, when we don't want to shout, when we don't want to. Uh, you know, do what it is that we know is going to lead us to victory and bring about that miracle that that brother and that sister will come your way and say, no, 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 you're not giving up now. You've come way too far. God has something beautiful and amazing. And sooner or later, when you, when you hit that breaking point and that breaking point, you're face to face with it. And that breaking point is taunting you like Goliath. And that breaking point is trying to tell you your miracle ain't going to happen. That breaking point is trying to, is trying to tell you that 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 financial victory ain't going to happen. That breaking point is trying to tell you you ain't never going to this. You ain't never going to that. The devil is alive in the midst of all odds, in the face of all odds. That is when you will see the greater glory come nigh unto thee. That is when you're going to see the hand of Jesus reach down in the midst of your situation, reach down in the midst of your life, reach down right in the middle, right smack dead, dab in the middle of even doubt, fear and unbelief, because it is not even sometimes our own faith. It is God's grace. It, it is it is his goodness that even when we don't deserve the blessing, he reaches down and says, that is my son and that is my daughter and I'm going to bless them any way because i'm good because he's good because he's just and because he's faithful he will show himself strong and mighty in your midst somebody say hallelujah and that is our lord and that is our god Whew. so for somebody under the sound of my voice today today may be breaking point and the minute you break through, the minute God comes nigh to you, the minute that miracle happens, they th the people that were watching all around, got to remember, these were people that were gathered together mourning for Lazarus, looking at a situation that seemed impossible. There's no way, there's, there's, there's no way he can come back now. It's too late. It's been four days. Before in Hebrew is dalet. Dalet is and means the door. Jesus is the door. So when Jesus shows up in your midst and he looks at that rock rolled over your tomb rode over that situation rode over that thing that you're believing him for he will say Lazarus he will say he will say to those situations and those demons trying to rob you and hold from you his miracle and his best for your life he will so put that stone away get that stone out of my face Lazarus come forth and the name Lazarus means he whom God has helped all of his life when people called his name Lazarus he was referred to and it means he whom God has helped and now came that day where his name of what it means was and is fulfilled in Jesus name 
There's no stone that can rob your miracle. There's no devil in hell that can stop God's goodness shining in and upon and, and overwhelming you with his favor and his power and his glory that is coming nigh unto you. You just hold on and you remain faithful in your breaking point. You're going to get through and you're going to see the hand of God move in and upon your life in Jesus name.